guys, Jake here again. Um, sorry that I've been away for a little while. Um, you know how school is and everything, and you know it's been sidetracking me. But anyways, um, I also ran out of some ideas because I'm not the best one. But anyways, back on to the point of the video. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to, you know, install the semi-transparent so emails in TF2. Very easy. All it is is simple HUD uh, editing, and it shouldn't. It's not considered hacking at all. Um, in fact, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be banned at all for it. If you ever get, I really honestly think I cannot think of a time where anybody has been banned for this. Um, so it's not you just. Basically, what it helps you do is just helps be more aware, but also in terms of your surroundings, but as also being aware of what weapon you're using and whatnot. And so, because you know, by default in TF2, of course, you can either turn the V model on or off, but never switch the opacity. Um, you can't manually change this, the opacity in this. Um, what it does is just gives you about just probably I think it's about 50 transparency. I bet. Or whatever you call it, opaque. I don't even know. I can't even pronounce the definition. I'm horrible. But anyways, let's go ahead and just just get started on this. Um. So yeah. Because what we need to do is when you go to your. I'm actually here at my. Where I need to be. So for instance, I'm on my. You go to your program files. You go to go to Steam. And you go to com well well no Steam apps. Then I think com and then I think your whatever your username is. Me, I don't have the username thing, so I don't really know which which one goes first, so don't I'm not the most reliable in terms of where your name folder is, but it's just whatever your name folder is, just go in there and go to T Fortress 2, then T F. Then honestly I can't I don't think you can do this with the default. I don't. Uh, however, it says you can, but I don't know which where that is. So, so I guess you can look it up yourself because I'm not gonna try. Um, but however, if you're wondering what, what I'm using, I'm using a custom book called EV Hood. E V E Hood. Um, I just saw my other. If you've seen my other video, my other videos, the I can't speak today. Oh my gosh! But if you've seen my other videos, you know I use EV Hood. Um, it's a great HUD. In fact, it's my favorite HUD. This is why I use it. Oh, yeah. Duh. But, anyways, what I want to do is you actually want to go to in here. And when you go to your scripts folder, then we go to your HUD layout.res. This is where you actually edit stuff. Okay, this right here actually did not come with EV HUD itself. This is actually what I copied it in. Copied in. And don't worry, this is where you get all this stuff right here, okay? You actually, here, I'm actually going to backspace it, so it's, uh, what have I done? There's something that's supposed to be here. Whoops, okay. Okay, this, okay. This, not this, this bracket stays here, but this is what it would normally look like if it was just whatever how you were, and then how dot res is what it should look like, or something along the lines of this, okay? Before you actually put this stuff in the, so what you want to do is you go to this website. Um, I'll leave a, leave a link in the description below. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I cannot speak today. Well, it seems that way every time I record. But anyways, before I go off and babbling around. But anyways, this is teamfortress.tv. Um, it, it is very safe. I have never got any virus from this at all whatsoever. In fact, the only virus... Um, protection I actually have is Windows Defender. That's it. Because you want to know why? Because this is actually a transform book, so it's a two in one. Um, these hard drives are not very big, and so I cannot have enough room for whatever. And I don't feel like paying for any antivirus stuff. But, but anyways, again, back on to that subject. Take it off track. Um, but anyways, what I want to do is you actually want to go to this thing. Um, it's your kind of layout, so it's the number two one. You want to copy this, all of this, which I already did. And you want to do is you actually want to put it. You want to when you go by this bracket, press tab, and then enter. 
and then press tab again. Then go ahead and paste it in right in. Um, so just, you know, just just make sure these are in line with the. Just make sure where it says transparent view model mask. This all of this we just pasted in is is in line with the uh, player status whatever, whatever you have, right? And then you want to keep just you know just press tab because all that's all it is is just tab. Of course, you can use Notepad, um, Notepad plus plus whatever text document that you editor that you use just go ahead and use that because it really does not matter and this doesn't take too long as you can see i'm not really speeding up through this it's just a really short amount of time and it's not hard just simple head editing and you know what I... also what's nice about this um because it's in the hud i'm going to go ahead and save this as soon as i get that bracket or the bracket for some reason why it's there i don't know why but anyways, go ahead and just save it. Um, so you have that saved. But the reason why the the reason why this will actually stay even in Valve servers that don't allow mods except for the um, HUD files. That's the reason why is because this these are HUD files, so it won't. So it will still you will still have the transparent effect um, on even on Valve servers. So it's not like you'll oh no Valve server I'm doomed. No. Not that at all. Okay, but also, this is what next thing you want to do is you also want to download this materials right here. This is what it downloads. This is what it looks like, and what the files, what it looks like, I guess. Um, but what it looks like when you, you know, look it up on the text or whatever. This is where it looks like originally. But don't worry about this because when you just download right here. Um, it'll have the transparent view models folder in here. You just drop it right in your custom folder like other mods and whatnot. So it has all of this materials and sound and whatnot. So don't worry about that. Um what else? Oh yes, the next thing the last thing you want to do um is you actually want to do the, the rest of this in the game. Okay? So what you want to do is you, you actually want um, let's go ahead and get out of folders because you don't need them anymore. Like, no, no, anyways. Um, so you actually want to copy where it says the config settings. This is what configurates again. Is it, yeah, it's called, yeah, config settings. Duh, configurates. But what this does is it, you know, make sure it's, you're able to have the transparent view models in the first place. Um, So you just copy all this. Don't copy whatever after these little slashes because all this is right here is just, just kind of just tells you how it works, I guess. Um, you just copy whatever says map, whatever. Don't just don't copy anything that's after this, but copy like this and this and this and whatever. Since this is a really matte fong kind of fong shading or whatever. I don't know how it exactly works, but this was kind of explains a little bit how it works, but I'm not going to go bother and go into depth. But yeah, all you do is you, um, you, you, you all put, you put all this in to the console, um, the console editor. When you log into TF2, um, I reckon just separate each of these commands with the semicolon and you should be fine. If you've seen my, my TF2 commands videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but for those who don't know who what the um, console um, console editor is, I'll show. Well, what do we call it? Okay, some developer console. Yes, that's what the name of it is. It's developer console. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look into TF2 and show you what it is. Okay, guys, we're now back on TF2. And again, for those who don't know, what the or how to, to activate the developer console? Here's what you do. First, one to make sure that you have the make sure it's enabled. So you go to options, go to advanced, then you go to check this box, just press OK, apply, whatever, and then okay. Actually, let me show the key. So there is how you actually develop it. Um, well, toggle, toggle it, toggle. Yes, that's the word, toggle. Um, you actually press the little squiggly line. 
um, or in this case, rather, there's this little apostrophe that's like right under the escape key. You know where that is. Um, just go ahead and apply it. With that, so you can just press the button. Just bring this up. Um, and then, of course, just copy all those commands in. And if you want to do it all at once, just make sure you separate each command with a semicolon. Because otherwise, it will not it will not work. It will say, oh, this unknown command, you know. So, again, just, if you're going to do this all at once, um, go ahead, do that. But, again, leave the semicolon. And once you're done with that, you should get something more like this. Like, it is fast button switch, whatever. Still works, see? Um... I have on default um, in terms of the my FOV V model FOV anyways is that is that normal for those I used to have this actually the FOV at um, 90 but I don't anymore but of course it still works I can switch classes it'll work um, but yeah this is basically how you install the semi transparent back um, not background but Emails for the two. Um, I hope this helps you in your in your experience. This is in this game. Um, anyways, but if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, um, subscribe. Because I will try to upload more frequently now. I'm gonna try to find a way. Because what I might do next is I might make a video on how to unlock the Black Rose, which is this lovely knife right here. I mean, it's for those who don't know what this, what this is, but I imagine if you're big on TF, you would know this what, what this is. Um, but yeah, it's the yeah, hopefully I'll be able, able to upload more frequently because, again, I'll probably be able to more upload probably more, probably at uh, during the winter break because I don't really have a whole lot of stuff going on there except for the holidays and Speaking of the holidays, I'm excited. I'm waiting to see what Valve has for their. Since they haven't made any release any new items for the game, I'm excited to see what what they are going to be. I would love to see what they would be because I would love to see new weapon, new stats. You know, not be it just a reskin or whatever, but also have a new stats where, or um, of course there would be some balancing in here, which means I probably have to. You reorganize my loadouts, but you know. But again, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and um, whatever. Anyways, see you guys and yeah, bye.